Toyota, CEO. Our new engine is the end of the entire EV industry. In a world that seems perpetually obsessed with an all-electric future, the CEO of Toyota, Akio Toyota, has made a bold claim that could change the course of the entire EV industry. While it's true that this Japanese company also has its own pipeline of EVs for the upcoming years, they are also vigorously exploring alternative energy sources that could potentially revolutionize the future of transportation. And their latest secret weapon is an ammonia-fueled engine that most industry experts believe could be the end of the EV movement. But can this new engine really dethrone EVs as the future of transportation? Isn't ammonia extremely dangerous? Well, let's dive in and find out why Toyota is so enthusiastic about this polarizing alternative, the birth of the ammonia engine. But first, let's discuss who invented this revolutionary engine that runs on ammonia. Gay C, a Chinese state-owned automobile manufacturer in collaboration with Toyota, developed the world's first car engine that runs on ammonia. This breakthrough technology was first showcased at GAC's annual technology event and has generated a lot of buzz in the automotive industry. However, the idea of using ammonia as a fuel is not new. In fact, it has been explored for decades in the shipping and trucking industries. However, GAC and Toyota's collaboration to use ammonia as a fuel in passenger cars is the first of its kind and has opened up new possibilities for the future of sustainable transportation. So, is it really the world first engine? Well, not exactly. While GAC and Toyota's engine is revolutionary in its own right, it is not the first ammonia-fueled car. The Korean Institute for Energy Research also developed a similar car called the Amve, which ran on 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline. This car was tested a decade ago and significantly reduced carbon emissions by 70%. So one thing is clear. The idea of using ammonia in cars is not a new concept, but GAC and Toyota's engine takes it to a whole new level of innovation and efficiency. But what exactly is this ammonia engine and how does it work? An ammonia Ammonia engine is a type of engine that uses ammonia as a fuel source instead of traditional fossil fuels like gasoline or diesel. It works similarly to a conventional combustion engine, but instead of using gas or diesel, it uses a mixture of ammonia and another fuel source such as gasoline to power the motor. Ammonia, or NH3, is an inorganic chemical compound of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. It is a colorless gas with a pungent odor and is commonly used in fertilizers, industrial chemicals, and refrigerants. But what makes ammonia amazing as a fuel source is that it has no carbon, which means it produces no carbon dioxide, CO2, emissions when burned. This makes it a promising alternative fuel for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and improving air quality. There are many different ways to make ammonia engines work. One way is to break ammonia into its two elements, hydrogen and nitrogen. The hydrogen is then used in a fuel cell to produce electricity that powers an electric motor. This method was successfully integrated into a John Deere mid-size standard tractor by Amo which can operate on liquid ammonia fuel for several hours. With 100 kilodollar of power, this zero-emission tractor demonstrates the potential of ammonia as a clean and sustainable fuel source for combustion engines. Another approach to using ammonia as a fuel is to blend it with other fuel sources, such as gas, diesel, or hydrogen, before burning it together. This fusion of fuels makes it easier for ammonia to be used in traditional combustion engines with without major modifications. Man Energy Solutions, a German multinational company, followed this approach to develop a two-stroke green ammonia engine for maritime use. This engine was first tested in 2019, and it is expected to be released for commercial use by 2024. A third way to use ammonia as the main fuel source is not as easy as the others, but it is a more efficient approach. This method requires advanced technologies like compression ignition, spark ignition, or homogeneous charge compression ignition. These technologies not only improve the performance of ammonia, but also increase their thermal efficiency by controlling the timing and pressure 
pressure of combustion. So basically, ammonia engines are an innovative way that may have the potential to flip the EV market by providing a cleaner, more sustainable, and cost-effective alternative to traditional combustion engines. GAC first introduced its ammonia engine at its annual technology showcase in Guangzhou, China. The 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine running on liquid ammonia was installed and tested in a prototype passenger car. This engine is estimated to produce a 120 kilovars, 161 HP peak power output while emitting 90% less carbon dioxide than if it were powered by traditional fossil fuels, which is a significant reduction in emissions. Challenges and Overcoming Obstacles However, it was not an easy path for GAC to design their ammonia-powered engine. According to GAC R&D Center engineer Chi Hong Zhong, the company had to overcome several challenges during the development process. One of the main challenges was managing the rising combustion pressure and excessive nitrogen emissions. These obstacles were reported by Autocar a leading automotive magazine. Another major obstacle to using ammonia as a fuel is its highly poisonous nature. It is mainly used as a fertilizer, but its highly flammable nature has made it a candidate for future transportation needs. Since ammonia has about half of the energy density of petrol at 3.6 kWh per liter, it may not be as efficient as traditional fossil fuels. However, what makes it an attractive alternative is that it does not emit any kind of carbon, hydrocarbons, or CO2 when burned. Ammonia has been studied as a low-carbon fuel by various entities, but there are challenges to overcome. It is not only more difficult to ignite than conventional fossil fuels, but it also burns slower. To address this issue, GACs engineers used advanced technologies such as spark ignition, direct injection, and exhaust gas recirculation to improve the combustion process, reduce emissions, and increase efficiency. This breakthrough is significant because it paves the way for ammonia to be used effectively in the passenger car industry. In an interview, GAC R&D Center engineer Chi Hong Zhong said that they have cracked the problem of ammonia and why it is slow to burn, and they have found a solution to use the fuel for the passenger car industry. He also mentioned that they are thrilled about its potential value for society and commercial applications. The development of ammonia-powered engines has caught the attention of major players in the automotive industry. Toyota, in particular, has shown a keen interest in this zero-emission technology and has been testing it in various motorsport events. This indicates that they might adopt ammonia-powered engines not just in China but also in other regions as the technology progresses. Although there are still challenges to overcome, the continuous improvements in ammonia engine technology and the involvement of major players like Toyota suggest a future where cleaner and more sustainable transportation options could become a reality become the future of ammonia engines. So how will this no or low emission engine turn the table in the EV market? Well, if ammonia engines become a viable and efficient fuel alternative, they could capture a large portion of the transportation market, including passenger cars, trucks, buses, and even ships. While EVs are an appealing alternative to traditional combustion engines, they still have some limitations, such as long charging times, limited range, and high costs. Also, also, the production of EV batteries poses a significant environmental impact due to the extraction and processing of raw materials. EV batteries also have a limited lifespan and need to be disposed of properly, which can be a costly and complex process. On the other hand, ammonia is a widely available resource that can be easily produced through renewable energy sources like wind and solar power. It also has a higher energy density than electricity which means it can offer a longer range compared to EVs. Ammonia-powered engines also have the potential to be more cost-effective in terms of production and maintenance, because unlike EVs, they do not require expensive batteries and can use existing infrastructure for refueling. If we consider these factors, it is evident that ammonia engines have the potential to revolutionize the transportation industry and make a significant impact in reducing carbon
carbon emissions, but isn't ammonia dangerous? So while Toyota's new ammonia engine collab project with GAC does have some out-of-the-box merits like zero emissions and cost-effectiveness, there are also serious concerns regarding its safety and impact on the environment. As we have mentioned earlier, ammonia is a highly poisonous substance and requires careful handling, so using it as a fuel in automobiles would be extremely tricky and, in most cases, expensive. Another concern is the potential release of nitrogen into the atmosphere, which can have harmful effects on human health and the environment, from acid rain to respiratory illnesses and even birth defects. An improperly tuned or misfiring ammonia engine could have serious consequences if not managed carefully. However, GAC and Toyota engineers have addressed these concerns and are even working on developing advanced technologies to ensure the safe and efficient use of ammonia as a fuel. This includes implementing strict safety protocols during production, storage, and refueling processes, as well as continuously improving combustion efficiency to reduce emissions. So, what do you think about Toyota and GAC's efforts to introduce ammonia engines in the automotive industry? Will it dethrone EVs as the future of transportation, or will it face too many obstacles? Only time will tell, but it's clear that the race toward zero emission transportation is on, and ammonia engines may just be one of the contenders. We hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of the potential of ammonia engines and their impact on the future of transportation. If you found Found this video informative and interesting don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for more such content on the automotive industry